Hello everyone, my name is Alberto Chavez and here we are once again we will going to continue with our Optimus Prime Power Master modeling. This is the very last um, thing we had before um, well, till last week. Um, if you are asking yourself what is going on right here, it was that um, for some reason when I started recording this um, the focus of the mouse were completely lost but here we are this is what we have until now and we will try to continue today we uh, if you remember we just model the chest and uh, the head we won't touch it um, today or that's what I think <laughs> And we will continue with the chest and uh, waist. So let's get started. Okay, uh, as you can see, we are on face select. We will go ahead and click on vertex select and deselect with the A key and um, click on B for box select and select this four vertices that we have here. As you can see in the image we have here up here on the right the chest is the center of the chest it's a little bit up right here but the thing is that um, I don't want to um, deform the the window that much so I will go ahead and start here and when I get there I will press O for uh, proportional editing and I can start deforming the window also but I started first just with the uh, with those four vertices there O so I get rid of the uh, proportional editing and now we are going to model this um, silver part down the chest which would be I guess the start uh, the starting of the the waist maybe I don't know what would you say um, I will insert an edge loop with Control R. I would slide the edge loop like about here, just like that. Remember, I have here the keyboard and mouse monitor down here at the bottom right. And I will insert another edge loop like about here. Okay, now. As you can see, the image here it's telling us that um, this part, the silver part, the waist, is not exactly at this edge right here. So what we can do now is select these four vertices, which made the face selection. Press I. So I create a little inset, and now with face select. I click right there should be good enough and I extrude it just like that okay now what happened with this um, I don't know how to call it if you want me to be to tell the truth um, I don't know that much of cars so the names are kinda hard for me it doesn't matter English or Spanish um, are hard. German, uh, Chinese, Japanese, whatever. I don't know how to call things. So, my apologies if I'm being blasphemous about, about this. Um, but hey, I'm just a 3D modeler, animator, game creator, and so forth. Okay, um, stop the, the, the chit chat. Now um, I will create the material, click on the uh, plus sign, new, and I will call this, uh, actually it's not um, silver, right, it should be like uh, chrome, I guess. I'm, I'm so I will select here, instead of diffuse, I will go ahead and click on glossy material because that's what I want and I will give it a roughness of 0.2 um, yeah 
basically. I click on assign and that's the start of the next part of Optimus Prime chest. If um, you want to make it like a, a little bit bigger then you can go ahead well actually we could do it right away because I think this part this hole here where the radiator I don't know whatever you call it is uh, it's too big so I can deselect with A select this whole thing control E edge slide I slide this just a little bit and I will do basically the same with this inner uh, edge control E edge slide and just about there and this one here I just push it on the x-axis just like that I think it's a little bit better okay so that's the next part and um, now the red part which is basically the same uh, procedure I just a little bit just like that face select I will extrude it just like this right and now um, it's the same um, red this metal red so I will go ahead and oh, wait a minute I need to select the faces so the material affects the faces so metal red assign and that's it I guess I hope I don't know <laughs> selected um, well actually we'll go ahead and deselect that and now we'll shift a add a cube and grab it on the set axis just like this and as you can imagine since we are working with this mirror um, modifier I will insert a an edge loop here just like this if you want if you move it by accident and you want the edge loop to be in the center and you're still moving it just click on escape just like that and it will be placed on the center I deselect that box select with B X vertices and there you have it okay now L so I select this um, the new mesh I, I added I will scale it wait clipping don't forget the clipping it's important S just mm, but okay that would be yeah it's okay like about there I'm just looking for the most accurate approximation of this obviously as you can see I will need to escalate this on the Z axis as set like about there and set it down just like that and now SX so I fill the empty spaces how I'm going to fill the rest of the spaces that's pretty easy but first the top one this two oops this two vertices here just pull it up to fill the empty space now this two little guys here there are two possibilities and actually I will go ahead and click here and here control E edge slide 
and I will make the same width for this for the four vertices because I have two for the silver one with the chrome one and two for the red one so now box select the whole thing and push it just like this A to deselect B to box select and there we go and that's basically it just again oops let me go ahead and select these two ones here and push it up just like that okay uh, I think it's most likely done uh, I know I know before you say that I know that this parts here need to go down for sure so don't worry about it just like this and now this one here just a little bit down I think What do you think? I think um, this part here might be too tall. Maybe a little bit more, just like this. And maybe I should set this one a little bit down and this uh, this part here this two vertices I just need to push it push them on the x-axis just like that and on the z-axis just like that obviously this um, part of whatever the name the mechanical name is control I will press L there you go. Um, it's from the chrome material, so select that, assign it, and there are a couple divisions that I will go ahead and make right now. Press I to make an inset. Oh wait, what's wrong here? Whoa. Mm. There's something here that. It's not. Oh, 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 sorry. I just need. I keep on doing the same thing. My goodness. There. Sign the chrome material. And now, I just need to select this front face. If I want to place the inset properly, I only need to have one face selected. I. Now we're talking just like that so this uh, ridges here this holes here are most likely like this top part of the head so control R and they are one two three four like about four or five so this is going to be good enough and face selection I will select this guys here and I will extrude them on the Y axis inwards and maybe push it on the set axis a little bit to the top just like that and as you can see it has the ridges of the whatever the name of that part is sorry so sorry but I'm not a car guy what <laughs> okay now one thing I'm noticing here is that the whole chest should be wider right so let me go ahead and select the whole chest and push it 
Mm, not the whole chest. I need to deselect this basis if I could. Right here. And also... Wait a minute, oops. That one, exactly that one. This one right here. This one there. Oh, the back part. That one there. And let's see now how it goes. Uh, no, I don't like the way it goes. So, what am I gonna do now? So I didn't. Okay, let's do this. Just. No, no, I don't like the way it goes. So. Uh, my goodness. You know, this is the problem of being able to foresee what is going to happen if I make a mistake with measurements. Uh, actually, it's going to be the same thing if I select that base there. So, deselect these faces here. This one here. Alright. Ah, there we go. Much better, but this face, unselect that face too, and maybe this ones. I need to select them, so I do them wider. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I think just like that. Okay. Now, um, don't worry about this. All you need to do is um, push them towards the the whatever the name is. Sorry again, I'm not a car guy. Yeah, I know. You're gonna get bored of me repeating that over and over again. So I'll stop. Okay, that's most likely what I wanted. Yeah, you can say it worked good enough. So now this part here, which would be like the hip of the prime, we select the whole thing, shift A, add a cube, G Z, so I can bring it down here. And again, as you may already imagine, I will control R here. Add the edge loop, deselect, select these four vertices there. Hey, hey, select, there you go. X, the vertices, and we're good to go. Like this, and obviously going down. If you move your uh, three pivot point, there's no problem, you should see and you return the pivot point where it should be. But right now it doesn't really matter. Okay, again, yeah, clipping is activated. So, S, S, X, S, X, just like that. And S, Y, since the hip is wider, and the waist, we're doing a good job. Uh, the chrome material, assign it. You know what? I have just realized, which is kind of a shame, that I should made this thing. Uh, taller, right? But maybe it's... No. Leave it just like that by now. 
Sorry guys. This is uh, one of the benefits of the something like the li like a live TV. This is like a live tutorial. I'm not editing it at all. Okay, uh, I will go ahead and deselect on uh, on check clipping. Shift A, add a cube. G set. Bring it to the front. G Y. Just like that. Separate the whole thing. About here, I guess. And place this to. I don't know, notches maybe. Just like that. S Y. Just like that. And they are the metal red. So I will assign that material. And I insist. I should have made this a little bit taller. But I will go ahead and get worry about it in the next tutorial or this one is going to be so so long hmm take a look this happens when you are not seeing what you are deleting it's not a problem I will go ahead and fix it later on so maybe it's too big just like that and control R A control R about there and part of the crotch should be face select this one here extrude it down just like that Oh, by the way, since there's no clipping here, maybe that's the problem. Okay. Come on. There you have it. You know, sometimes you make like full mistakes, stupid mistakes. And that you need to correct them on the go <laughs> which is what I'm doing right now I will select this edge just like this and as you can see this part of the crotch it's a uh, blue one so select this this whole thing here like that go to materials and here we have a problem. Oh no, 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 no. We will select the same material for helmet, right? Because it's blue. It's the same blue that in the helmet. Okay? So we're. Yeah, we can say that we're doing it good. However, I still feel that the proportions are not good. We'll try to correct these things, these little things. Don't worry, I mean, make uh, some corrections on the go, it's okay. Actually, you won't be able to avoid it. If you decide to dedicate your life to 3D modeling, animating, or something like that, you can be sure, completely sure, that you will be in need of tuning things up. That's for sure. Okay, so don't worry. It's okay. Much better. Way, way better. Okay. How do you correct this kind of things here? As you can see, apparently, 
I do this, you see, there are a couple of faces that have been deleted for some reason. Well, let's say there's a way. <laughs> You select metal red, assign the material. Well, actually, no, it's not the metal red, it's the chrome one, just like that. Okay. And there you have it, this part of um, this big, big robot here. Just push it up, just like that. And this one right here, just like that. Okay. Next week we will go ahead and get out the legs and then about the arms but for now we can say that we are all finished thank you for um, the support actually my English tutorials have been seen for a couple people so thank you very much I really appreciate it um, any constructive critic uh, critique will be welcome. So um, let's say this: Control Shift S, plus sign, Enter. Um, again, if you want the blend file, you can go ahead and visit my blog. That would be Diseño Libre, which is um, a Guatemala two two with the number dot blogspot.com um, obviously the, you will see a link in the description below the video on YouTube so you can go ahead and download the download I'm sorry the blend file again thank you for uh, following these tutorials I am Alberto Chavez see you guys next week until then may free and open software have a long, long, long life.